Tobit Jaguar here, episode 51 of the Dark Tower. So, today we're back on working on the orchard, and one of the first things I need to do uh, is I got all these saplings here, but a large number of them are not identified, and it's way too tedious to do it by hand. So, I've got me an analyzer here, which I'm going to set up. And he did that wrong. The analyzer needs to be over here. Yeah, because we need pipes like so. And it would appear it never did get me a wrench. And something like this for the output. But one moment, I need to get me another engine and a wrench. So, crowbar acquired, which will do. Now, what we need is this analyzer, which is basically will analyze our saplings for us if we give it honey. I'm not quite sure why honey's used to analyze um, tree saplings, but whatever. But it's got a limited capacity, so we're going to need to pipe the excess back over here into the into the chests, and over here we got us an engine. Now this analyzer doesn't require power or anything, just honey. So here comes the saplings. After they're all analyzed I'll need to go through by hand and sort them since there doesn't appear to be uh, forestry uh, arborist's pipe like there is for the Apris pipe, unfortunately, so I can already see we have a pro is that a problem or is that doing what it's supposed to do? I think that's doing what it's supposed to do. I guess it's analyzing that one. It takes a moment to do this. So after they get analyzed, they get piped over here into these chests. Coffee sapling. That looks like it uses a fair bit of honey to do this. The ones that are already analyzed will just pass right through the thing, so. Anyways, now that that's running, I need to choose those eventually, what tree I want to use. I did find a good one that I have some in a chest in the house. That will probably be at least one of the ones I plant. Now up here, what do we need up here? We need... We need to unload dirt and fertilizer. I need to go get some fertilizer. You can see the train going back and forth just fine there. See these things? Those are aspect orbs and they will recharge your wand whenever you kill mobs, so. 
Uh, let's see, what did I come in here for? Fertilizer. Let's see, fertilizer is my sapling, and grab some appetite and some sand just in case. The other zombies are down here. So it was mentioned that I could put this in excess mode and change it to output everything except for fertilizer. Okay, so much for that. Okay, let's try this again. Did you manage to get some more stone? I set up my quarry again. So, without the help of the creepers, gun. Okay. So, tank card in the back, chest card in the front. Link them together. Put our tracks back. Try what we can. So, yep, creepers, not helpful. Not helpful at all. Mm, we'll take a boosters too. There seems to be a sticky spot over in the other side that keeps getting the cart stuck. Okay, so... I see my chest is gone. Leave that like that for the moment. So we got... I do have a slight concern here that it will not put the sand into the workbench. And if that's the case I may need another unloader. We'll see. And then the loader, the loader needs to load a stack. A stack of fertilizer. Yes, yes, that looks good. Nope, that should be stock mode. Excess and you, I need to attach to the that thing up there. I saw you. Nope, that would be the wrong focus. Anyways, yes. 
Still hesitant to do that until I get my wand of equal trade back. So we'll leave that here for the moment. Moving back on to what we were doing originally for the distraction. I didn't get the carts going again, did I? Okay, so we need to put stock in this year just for just because we'll put a stock. So stock dirt and fertilizer. That'll keep that much in here, assuming it puts it in the right place. Now this one should just load anything that gets sends up in its buffer. And there's not much, nope, we want to immediate, not empty. And we need some lava. So I need to seed the system with some sand. You find me... Lava capsule. Get these carts down here moving again. Sand is needed. Now, I don't know if the farm in orchard mode produces sand or not. Um, before we do sand, well, I can do sand. Okay, so in theory it should be able to get sand from the orchard, but I don't know if it produces sand, so I've never actually built an orchard. I do however need a soldering iron, because to set up a farm as an orchard I need the correct circuit, which uh, we'll have to look up on the wiki. So bronze and iron, and a carpenter. So three iron, bit of bronze. In a carpenter. Here we go. Additionally, I need a uh, circuit board one moment while I inspect the wiki so apparently I need copper electron tubes which have some electron tubes somewhere but I'm not sure it might be tin Whatever the farm juice. Yep. Tin, not copper. So I need to find my Wait. 
Wait, there it is. My thermonic fabricator. Now I need some copper, redstone, and glass. As per usual, we have no room. Moment. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have lots of stone now. I'm not quite sure why I'm carrying around uh, steel shears. They just get in the way. Glass, copper, and redstone. We need four of these. Now we need a circuit board. I'm not quite sure which. I'm going to assume an intricate one, so gold. I need to override all four sides, so and assuming each circuit board has a slot and each additional tier has an additional slot. Intricate should have four slots. If we put this in here, change it to manual farms and put those in there, we get a manual farm. With four orchards. One moment while I sleep. Okay, now additionally, we need... We need some fuel, so... Come over here, since I don't feel like making the pipes just yet. It's probably good enough for the moment. And we'll come down here and we'll install, well not install, but fill it with this biomass. probably be completely empty.
But that biomass should come over here. Stick it in the engine. So if I put my circuit in, we get orchards. We need to put in our lava capsule. Okay, there's a graphical rendering issue there. Something over in my tower. It's messing with the lighting. So it should, if it's working, should be working. Why is it not working? Should be doing something. Why are you not placing dirt? Using fertilizer but not placing dirt. moment. Okay, so manual farms apparently do not place the dirt for me. So I have to put the dirt in myself. Okay, so now all that is remaining, I believe, is the trees. I'll go get my one tree, which I... Uh, give me a moment to make a new tree analyzer. Okay, new tree analyzer crafted. I used my other one on the analyzer block. So, this tree is large or larger. I'm not sure which. Probably larger. Matures fast. Low number of saplings. We don't really care about those two. Yield is bad. Sappiness is low. We don't care about either of those either. Um, that's a good question. I do not know if it's actually producing cherries. We'll see. We will bring it over here and plant it and see what happens anyways. I've got all those other saplings to go through anyways, so we'll plant this, uh, we'll do it right here. 
Grow, tree, grow. Now, if you ask me, that does not appear to have any cherries on it. No, it does not. Okay. So, that tree will probably get cut down. But anyways, I think I'm probably going to wrap this episode up here, so... Going through these saplings is going to take a significant amount of tedious effort, so... And... There's a lot of them. So, anyways... That about wraps up this episode, episode 51. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully next time we will have a functional cherry orchard. And once that's producing cherries, we can hook that up to the, or a, we hook that up to a, not squeezing, squeezing? Yeah, squeezer operation and get us some seed oil. Which means I can then use that to make frames for my bees so they can produce string again. Now, admittedly, I do have a fair amount of string that I've collected ever since. Uh, I've got like two stacks of string. But that's not going to get me very far. I probably need at least four stacks for that other balloon, so... Anyways... Uh, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. And uh, this is uh, Covert Jaguar signing off.